we got a patio just put in right here nice steps up to the slider but what we don't got is real good privacy there are some junipers over there that are hedging our bet ha ha but what we're going to do instead to add to this backyard upgrade is build a cedar privacy screen right there and right there so let's get into it shall we how to build a cedar privacy screen first tools gonna be a lot of miter saw and table saw action on this one next material Step one, layout. Mason's line, this design 18 inches off the patio. I anchor my Mason's line with a 5 16 by six. That's right on a rock. Power lag, that's enough. And then to cinch it tight, I use the old Trucker's hitch. Tight, but not too tight. Ready to drill some holes now. I'm using the perimeter of the patio pavers itself as a layout mark. I've got my distances between posts measured. I'm 18 from here to here. There's no right or wrong. This is just what's happening here. We're gonna do river rock in here as a buffer between the two materials. And I'm using the old caution tape screw hole marking trick. Now we're ready to dig. Move the string out of the way. Next, post protectors. Also, to lengthen the service life of these cedar posts, I want the end grain of them to stay as dry as possible, as long as possible. So whether or not the ground drains around it, the homeowner had some river rock here, so I stole some. I'm gonna throw a few pieces in there, so that way, if water comes down the post, and it will, and gets into the post protector, It'll never just be sitting there anaerobically in the bottom of the sleeve. It'll be up, water has some place to go, posts last longer. Here we go. The holes are dug. I checked layout and it looks like we're running perfectly along the line we want to run against. Next, concrete. A couple pro tips, if you will, for concrete. One, the bag. You don't have to go to World War III to get this thing open. About 22 seconds on shower with this nozzle is exactly the right amount of water I need. Three, four, five. 21, 22. Okay. Concrete, hold. Half a bag of quick set concrete in each hole, let it cure. I should probably title this video How to Make All the Mistakes Possible Making a Privacy Screen. The SPAX Power Lag anchor for my layout string worked great before there were big piles of dirt here. Now they're too small. So, uh, the other reason I used those is I couldn't find these. And these are gas pipes cut with a 45, and they are awesome for trapping string. Now, 22 and a quarter, that's where I want the edge of this to be. Now that string will stay put high enough and out of the way when I need it out of the way. Now, 
that's a layout line. Woo! Set posts. I use any number of contraptions I make with strapping to keep me right on my string line. In this case, I've borrowed from that post right there for lateral support. And because we're transitioning here, I've laid out a corner brace that I took power lags and I just screwed them right into the ground. That is dead money on my string and it will help me support this as I get the level that's four miles away over there, bring it over here, plumb this up, lock her down. I might just keep this tank going. That's close, baby, close. Oh my God, it's perfect. Maybe my day will end a little better than it started. My truck is fixed and I didn't get hurt, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah! So I'm taking a bit of a different approach on how I detail the post bases down in the hole. Mainly, I want this to be stock still. And for good efficiency it, with post protectors, it's good to pour the concrete in the bottom of the hole and then put, typically like for a deck where there's a point load down, pour, let cure, put the post in on top of the concrete, then add gravel for drainage. But this is acting more like a fence, and I want it to be not move. But I also don't want it to sink. So I poured half a bag of concrete in the hole. Then I'm going to pour half a bag of gravel in the hole, like so. And then I'm going to mix another half bag to act as a mooring on top of my drainage. Confusing enough? Clear as mud? I think so. Because the face of this post is parallel with this run, and the face of this post is parallel with this run, what happens is the joint is unsupported out here parallel to the faces. Solution, just gonna take a cedar nailer and tuck it behind and we'll fasten to this and close up that corner nicely. Another master using strapping all over the place like I do serves is in cutting the posts. This design is stepped up and down. So I ran all my posts high we determined what we liked in terms of height. I removed a piece. And now I've got to make this cut and I've got to make it reasonableistically clean. So I've got three sides cut already. And because it's just me here, I need all the help I can get. Strapinga! We tried a couple of different spacings and what turned out to look the best and the most proportionally relevant and purposeful for our one buys, these are two, two, five and a half wide. What turned out to look the best, let the most light in, but do the most privacy making, it's just a piece of strapping. 9 16th stuff, buddy. All right, it's good to have a block at each post. And the reason is, uh, maybe you get a little warpy in there and you got to get it out. That's what I see here. I can fix it. Here we go. Keeping it right on track. Prior to installing the last board, measure and mark for your post tops, which are right here. I just took a piece of strapping and a scrap, marked it. Now I'm going to cut the 4 before right here in place. I already have one kerf on the back. I just have to finish up. 
<laughs> By the way, this army table, rated, I think it's rated for about 350 pounds. So I'm not just standing on my table, it is designed to be this. Well, people of the good ship, Cedar Privacy Screen, that's all she wrote. I'll see you on the next one.